I'm about ready to throw my machine out the window because it has not been doing what I want it to do. Not because I don't love it. I absolutely love everything my Cricut Maker does. But lately I've been getting this silly, stupid, wanted to show every single bleepity bleep expletive I can at the sucker because it will not cut for me and solve that dreaded code 18 error that I couldn't figure out for the longest time and I finally figured it out. So let me show you how. Let's go through the normal way to set up your Cricut with your computer. Now this could be a laptop or a desktop, it does not matter, but these are the normal steps that you would take to make sure that the two are communicating. You plug in the plugs to the back of your Cricut, make sure you plug in both the cable that connects to your computer and also the power cable. Next, load your material onto your mat, open up your Cricut and turn it on, and then load your mat. Then you open up Cricut Design Space and you select the files that you would like to cut. You go to make it, and then you hit continue. And for me, it turns into a wait, a wait, a wait. And it sits and spins and it sits and spins and it goes nowhere. It does not want to communicate. And after a while, I get this code 18 error. So if you're at this same point as me, you are just tearing your hair out and you are just going nuts. You've turned your computer on and off. You've closed and opened Cricut Design Space to see if it helps it. You've forced to restart. You've turned the Cricut machine off as well. You've done everything you can possibly think of and you are still stumped. This is what you need to do. So I go over to the click part. It says, click here if you need help with next to code 18. And I had done everything that it said to do. I relaunched everything. I restarted my computers. I did everything it said. And then I looked down at code 21. Clear your browser history, cache, or cookies. I thought, well, you know, what could it hurt? So let me show you how I clear it. You're going to go up here in this top corner, right up in here. And see these little three dots? You're going to click on that. And you're going to go to settings right here. So click on settings. And I just as easy, I type in cookies. So I just go in and I type in cookies and I come down here and it says clear browsing history, right? So that's what I'm gonna open up, clear browsing history. Make sure all three of these boxes are checked. I've tried to just do it with one box or just two boxes, but I've always found that I have to do all three boxes. Kind of pain in the butt, but there you go. So all three boxes are clicked. I go in and I hit clear data. That part kind of sucks because I know I have to re-log into every single thing I need to do, but that doesn't solve every single problem. The next step you need to do is you actually need to go down and restart your computer. So restart your computer. Pay no attention to the how many icons you see on my computer. Shh, it's not that bad. It's all organized for me. So go down here, open up and restart your computer. Wait, before you restart computer, do this one thing so you don't have to redo your entire Cricut file. Go up here and hit save to your projects. Now that my file is saved, I've restarted my computer. You're gonna open up your file, select it. You're going to hit make it. And this is when you like pray and hope all the hard work you've just done by deleting all those login codes and wiping your computer of all the cookies that you possibly could have had. And you hope everything is working just right. I also made sure that I reset and restarted my Cricut Maker and after I've turned off my computer. So everything has had a fresh start. You cleared everything. It's a cleansing point at this point. And I go down to continue. And I'm, yay, it's happy dance time. Everything is awesome, things have worked. So at this point, I browse my materials. I set my material base that I want for this particular project or for whatever project you're doing. I just happen to be doing it on acrylic felt fabric. And so I select it. So I've loaded my material, I enter everything in, I hit cut on my Cricut and all is well with the world. I am finally able to connect my Cricut to my computer and cut all the files in Cricut Design Space. Yay! So I hope this has helped solve some of your problems when your Cricut Maker does not want to connect to your computer and you have now a way to solve this problem. Let me know if this tip worked for you. I would love to hear feedback because it is a no fail, absolute 100% way to make sure that I can connect my Cricut to my computer and cut whatever I like because you know we spend a lot of money on these machines and we want them to work just great. So it's something to do with the cookies, it's something to do with the cash, clear it out and cut away. Thank you guys so much for watching my Cricut tips and tricks. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and check out the videos you see to the side here. They are absolutely awesome and hopefully you follow along and watch my other shows. Don't forget to stay safe and don't forget to just create. Bye everybody.